Question 10. Now, I think the bit to really get started is just there. Um, reminds me of questions, sort of GCSE inverse direct proportion questions. So I'm just going to write down what's here. So what are we told? It's telling about the rate of decrease of the radius. So the change in the radius over time is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. There you go, just written that down. So now let's write it as an equation. So dr over dt equals k over r squared. Right? Just what you would have done with GCSE questions. Right, okay, now what does this remind us of? Now this is the hard bit, really, I suppose, about these questions, is just recognising what the next step is. The actual maths involved is relatively straightforward. It's just recognising this step. It's differential equations. Let me show you. So if I, let's write down where we've got to just here. Equals r squared. Multiply both sides by r squared. We've got dr. And then bring the dt up here. Okay. We're going to integrate. We're going to integrate it. Um, so if we integrate this, the, the integration involved, pretty easy. And then that's going to be kt because it's respect to t. And then don't forget, we've got some plus some constant value. Um, now the question here does say that we need to define the variables that we're using. So, so we've got r. So r is just going to be the radius of, of the mint, and that's in millimetres, so that's R, and then we're going to have T, and T is the time in minutes, and that's after, we should clarify that, it's after and start. Could kind of define a bit more there, couldn't you? Right, what what do we mean by start? It's when it's placed in mouth. Right, okay, let's go and work this through now. So let's see what else we're told. And oh, wait a minute, look. We're told right at the start of the question that when time is zero, the radius is five. So let's make a note of that. When time is zero, the radius is five. And we're also told when time is four, the radius is three. So let's use that information to help us find out what these things are. So let's substitute this one in first, just because it's got a zero there. So if we put a zero here, and a five here, we're going to have one, two, five, over 3 equals, oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's going to be 0. So therefore, C equals 1, 2, 5 over 3. Right? Fantastic. That's handy. Right. So now, let's rewrite where we are. So let's just see what we've got now. We've got R cubed over 3 equals KT plus 125 over 3. Now let's pop this information in here. So R is 3. So 3 cubed over 3 equals, now the k is the bit that we're trying to work out, but time is 4, so it'd be 4k plus 125 over 3. So a little bit of rearranging, if we take this away from both sides and divide by 4, k then works out to be minus 49 over 6. So, again, let's just rewrite what we've got, and then that'll just polish it off nicely then. So, what have we got? we got r cubed over 3 equals, now, we've got k is minus 49 over 6, so let's write it down. Over 6, multiplied by t, and then plus 125 over Three. There we go. Look at that. So, that's part A done. That's great. Now let's have a look at part B. Now it says, hence find the total time taken 
for the mint to completely dissolve. Give your answer in minutes and seconds um, to the nearest second. All right, so let's have a think about that. So what's that actually mean to us? So it means when is the radius going to equal zero? All right, when's the radius going to equal zero? So, so remember where we are at the moment. Equals minus four nine six t. Like I said, the maths involved is relatively straightforward. It's just what's the calculation that you've got to do. So we're just saying when is r equal zero. So let's just fire that in. Here we go. R equals zero minus forty nine over t six plus one hundred twenty five over three. So you should be able to find out. That t equals, so if you take that away from both sides, multiply by 6, divide by minus 49. There we go. And we should find out that we've got 5.10204. That's minutes. However, the question did say minutes and seconds. So, easiest way to convert that, we just take that number and just multiply that there by. 60 and then we end up with five minutes and six seconds and there is a part c as well and part c says suggest a limitation of the model again there's there's loads of things that you could stay here uh, we, could, we could be saying well what about you know we're assuming that it it's sort of staying in the sh same shape I spherical. Um, I don't know about you, but min, I, I might bite it. I'm assuming it's, you know, might might bite it. I'm assuming it's not bitten. Um, I'm sure you can think of many other things. 